Hello. 2020 has been a challenging year, with COVID-19 imposing restrictions on our everyday lives. Remembrance Day this year will be different. We will not be able to attend ceremonies or parades to commemorate as usual. This does not mean we will have forgotten, only we, that we will mark this day in a new way. Nous nous réunions en petit groupe ouvert sur le mont le 11 novembre pour honorer et commémorer ceux qui ont servi et ceux qui continuent à servir pour nous défendre et protéger nos libertés. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War, a conflict where one million Canadians served in uniforms, with 45,000 dead and 55,000 wounded. Please take a moment to remember those brave women and men and all those that have sacrificed in service to Canada. Most were ordinary people who found themselves in extraordinary circumstances and were willing to put themselves in harm's way to defend our values and our way of life. I am proud to introduce the following video of members of the Canadian Armed Forces and their families serving in the United Kingdom reciting In Flanders Fields by John McRae. Lieutenant Colonel McRae was born in Guelph, Ontario and wrote this iconic poem while serving in France during the First World War. Lors de l'enterrement de l'un de ses amis morts au combat, John a remarqué que des coquelicots commençaient déjà à pousser entre les rangées d'autres tombes. This poem has become linked with Remembrance Day ceremonies in Canada, and we are pleased to share it with you now. We will remember them. Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. At mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.